So I discovered the Bosnian pyramids. Before that, I've been researching this phenomena all over the planet. My PhD is in Mayan studies. The last eight years, this has become the most active archaeological site in the world, thanks to the people like you. Today we are here because of the pyramids. When we mention the word pyramid, we usually think about those pyramids in Egypt at the Giza Plateau. Indeed, magnificent structures. But almost everything they teach us about the pyramids is wrong. They tell us they are built in Egypt and Mexico. And that's wrong. They are built all over the planet, on all six continents. They are telling us that Egyptian pyramids were built as tombs for the pharaohs. Again, wrong. In the biggest, all these most superior Egyptian pyramids, no mummies of the pharaohs. So really, in 21st century, we need to start investigating this phenomenon in much more serious and systematic way. Does everyone understand English? Those of you who do, of course, you will say yes. <laughs> the others, they don't understand the question. <laughs> but English is okay. Bless you. There are 250 pyramids in the central Chinese province of Shanxi. There are 300 pyramids in Peru, 155 on Egyptian soil, 224 in northern Sudan, former Nubian kingdom, seven pyramids in the island of Mauritius in the middle of the Indian Ocean, tens of pyramids on Canary Islands in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean, there are pyramids in Bolivia, Indonesia, Cambodia, Australia, seven of them near Brisbane. There are pyramids on the U.S. soil, southwestern part of the state of Illinois, 200 Cahokia pyramids. And finally, the Mayan civilization built 100,000 pyramids in the states of Mexico, Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras, and Belize. On European soil, pyramids in southern France, five pyramid complexes on Italian soil, much before ancient Roman times, pyramids on ancient Greek soil, much before ancient Greece. So the world of the past was the world of the pyramids. The biggest pyramid in uh, China is 65 meters the biggest pyramid in the city of Teotihuacan in Mexico, 74. The biggest Mayan pyramid, El Mirador in Guatemala, 103 meters. The biggest pyramid in Egypt, the Great Pyramid of Egypt, or Chaos, or Khufu, 147. And the biggest pyramid on the planet is in front of me. The Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun. What makes a pyramid a pyramid? It's not tomb or pharaoh, but geometry. They are structures. You have to have a geometry of the pyramid. Look in front of us. We can see one side. To the left is the second side. To the right is the third side. In the back is the fourth side. So this is four-sided pyramid. We can see two corners in front of us. We can see one triangular face in front of us. The second one is to the left, the, the third one to the right, the fourth one, the damaged one, is in the back. We can see the same slope from the bottom to the top, bottom to the top, bottom to the top. And finally, those four sides meet in apex at the top. So the geometry is present and this pyramid is rather well preserved. Comparing to some pyramids in China, Guatemala or Mexico, this is much better preserved than those. So that's the first element, the geometry. The second one is the side orientation. All pyramids in China are oriented to the north. Well, they are four-sided, so it is east, west, north and south. 
but north being the most important. When I say north, I mean cosmic north, the location of the northern star, not magnetic north. Magnetic north moves every year between Canada and Siberia and back. All, all the Egyptian pyramids, north. Most of the Peruvian pyramids, north. All Cahokia pyramids, north. Some of the Mexican, north. So far we thought that the best orientation is the northern side of the Great Pyramid of Egypt. The error from the perfect north, zero degrees and two minutes. So it is just a fraction of one degree. The Bosnian State Institute for Geodesy measured the orientation of this side to the north. And the error is zero degrees, zero minutes, and 12 seconds. So this is the most precise orientation ever. The third element is the artificial construction material. In Guatemala, they shaped volcanic stones to build the pyramids. In Peru, they used adobe bricks. In Egypt, they used limestone and granite from Aswan. Here in Bosnia, as you will see, as you will see today, they used concrete. The whole pyramid is covered in excellent quality concrete. The element number four, inner passageways. The element number five, underground tunnels, which you're gonna see next. The element number six, water, always very important. In our case, we have two major rivers, River Fornica and River Bosnia, and a lot of underground water streams. The significance of underground water streams you will realize over the next few days. And the element number seven is sacred geometry. Three main pyramids here, the sun, moon, and dragon, form perfect equilateral triangle when you connect their tops. 2,170 meters, 2,170, 2,170. So all seven elements have been fulfilled in the case of Bosnian pyramids. In 2005, I first came to this town of Israel. 20,000 people. Not because of the pyramids, but to visit the local museum. And then I saw this. I'm looking, I see geometry of the pyramid. I'm taking compass, and let's see what the compass told me. I can show it to you. On compass, this green color means it is north. It always shows me. And here you have letters. You have M, north, S, south, east. If green covers M, it means perfect for So, it has to be at 90 degrees approximately in the middle of the pyramid. So, I took compass, I'm looking at the pyramid, and look what happens. Green completely covers M. Okay. So, in other words, north, south, east, west. So, I'm looking. We have four sides, triangle faces, perfect orientation. I immediately knew that this is not work of Mother Nature, but intelligent hands. Then I got the permission and I started talking to the geologists who are doing some geological core drilling. Uh, they actually asked me, 